When a boater calls me and tells me that one trim tab works and the other one doesn't, the first thing I go to is the back of the control switch. And I want to make sure that all 12 screws are secure and that none of them are missing. And let's say, for example, he tells me the port trim tab is not going up and down. I'll have him check to make sure that the red wire is secure and that the hot lead going into that red wire is in place. And then we're going to go back to the hydraulic power unit. And we've taken a uh, jumper wire and we've connected one end of it to the positive side of the battery. And we're going to go into the hydraulic power unit. We're going to unplug it from the wire harness and I'm going to put power directly to the green solenoid valve. We know that side's working, so let's hear, hear what that sounds like. You hear the click? That's a good solenoid valve. Now we're going to hit the red one and see if it works. You don't hear any sound. So what we're going to do next is replace the red solenoid valve. The proper way to replace the pin and the connector is to collapse the barb. You'll notice the uh, wire has a small barb on it right here and we're going to go into the connector with a screwdriver and we're just going to locate the barb and collapse it and then that allows you to pull the wire out and then you're going to reinsert the new wire into the connector. Now we're going to unscrew the solenoid valve from the hydraulic power unit. We'll just kink up the wires a few times here and it'll unscrew and then we're going to take the the new solenoid valve, we've already connected it into the wire harness and we're going to carefully take the plunger and spring and we're going to make sure it doesn't fall out. We're going to put it into the hydraulic power unit and we're just going to screw it in. And then we're going to put it in just hand tight. We don't want to over tighten it. 